So, uh, I finally got Jura working and, uh, oof. So here is the UI. I'm gonna go ahead and press program edit right now and you can see uh, that Jura looks a lot like the Geno 60 and it sounds pretty damn good. These progressions are actually linked in the description box. They are throwback 90s R&B progressions. However, if we're looking at the main tab right here, this is the first page of the main tab. And if we tap on this tab right here, you can see that it takes us to the other part of the UI where you can get access to the second envelope. You have a DCO screen as well, so you can get to the other oscillator as well. And you can go over here to the filter section. All these are like sliders and stuff like that where you can access and play with them via your Q links or whatnot. And you know, if you just click on over, you get access to each and every individual part of that. And that's true to other parts. You have the chorus effect. So let's go ahead and preview that with the noise. Add more to the mix. Let's turn off noise real quick. Boom. Let's turn on the second part of the chorus. And of course, yeah, this dry wet knob comes in handy. So you also can turn on and off the delay. So you can hear this wall. You have an analog setting as well, like turning up volume and turn on the analog. Let's go ahead and press the Q link and press and hold the Q link button so I can get that uh, pop up to stop. So let's turn on reverb again. Turn on noise. And as you can see, you can mess with all the other parameters as well, like the delay, reverb. So let's mess with the reverb just a little bit because uh, one of the things I do like is the octave setting. Feedback. And then you can turn on infinite. Let's turn up the amount. Mess with the width. So you can hear the infinite and whatnot. So it, it has effects that you would want to mess with at least. And then you have the EQ over here, which I don't have turned on. So you can remove frequencies and if that's your case. Uh, one of the other things that I, I like about this, just from exploring it, let's go ahead and get out of infinite here. Boom. with the amount See, nice and smooth on the screen but again you can mess with the unison voice it's a nice core setting over here let's go ahead and get back into the pad perform and then now you can hear it so if you're into any of that drum and bass stuff, old school stuff, you can have like chords being combined and change the polyphony as well. Has glide, so if you wanna glide stuff up, and get, get a little bit more Kate or not alike. Let's turn down the glide a little bit.
you can do that. And then the last but not least area would be the pitchiator. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and get to refresh that. And then I will go back into note mode here or pad perform and go to the progressions. Go to program edit again. And the pitchios are pretty cool. Yeah, up, down, down, up as played. And I think this might be the first. Standalone plugin where I've seen a pitchator built in. Otherwise, you know, you can access a pitchation uh, by going over here and just hitting note repeat twice or, you know, shift and note repeat to latch and then go into ARPS, that just, just in case you didn't know that. Um, that is a way to get to that. And it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, some of the chord settings and all that, and then you have control where you can mess with like the modulation and, and set it up in a manner that you might enjoy. Let's mess with the modulation real quick with the MPK Mini right over here. If you didn't know, Jura comes with like 500 presets. And you know, this is one of the first standalone plugins where I felt like I connected with. Let's go ahead and uh, connect with a new chord progression, still in the same pack that's linked in the description box. Let's go ahead and program that to a different key. It's not often we get something this smooth. You already know what time it is. Don't get it twisted. Jury got some bass too.
but I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool, a cool trick to add variation to your track. And you know, if you want to check out my master class, I'll show you some really dope stuff there. But what I want to do is I went over here to probabilities and what I'm going to do is mess with some of the probabilities. Now the probabilities, how they work is they allow you to set a range of where the notes will activate or whatnot or turn on and off. So uh, if I just add a little bit of variation in here and you know, if I choose to, I'm going to slow, go ahead and solo this part. Now I'm going to play it again. You can hear some of the notes not activate. All right. Hear how it only played one note in that instance. See if it plays that time. See it played that time. And it's cool because if you have enough notes that you can kind of augmentate how things go and it does work in like song mode the same way. Like it'll give you variation with little to no work. That's all I wanted to show you. So my overall thoughts on Jura, pretty damn useful for every genre of music and not just R&B, but the fact that, you know, you have some good presets, mind you that they are 500 presets and it's not about numbers as it is about quality. I'll take quality over quantity any day of the week. Jura has that. It seems like they made a plugin that kind of gels with the people, their main user base. That being me, I'm just saying. And, you know, let's be real. Uh, some of the damn MPC plugins aren't all that good. I say some of the good ones that I like, Fabric XL, Mini D, Hype Synth, and that's a free one right there. And, you know, Mellotron is pretty damn good. But yeah, Jura definitely meets the requirements. Hopefully the price point, you know, if I was going to bring up a con, will lower, you know, maybe. The other thing, I did notice one time that I was running Jura that I had a crash, like after the fourth instance of the plugin, or really the NPC firmware didn't crash. Uh, the plugin itself started acting a little quirky. I don't know if that's because I'm running a beta version of what everybody has publicly released on their firmware OS, but that's something I encountered, to be honest. To the right of me, I have more content for you. If you like what you've seen in this video, links will be in the description box. I mean, if you like what you heard, clearly, because it's music. But yeah, I have a masterclass for the MPC-1. Make sure that you check it out. I'm pretty sure you could benefit from that.